take whatever this is to see if this will actually work this time. Yes, okay. Take it away, game. We're doing another historical game? But yes. Yes, we are. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome to a new project, number 66 of Assassin's Creed Revelations. About five years ago, my daughter decided, hey, why don't you play every single Assassin's Creed game? We can keep them like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore. Wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right. The Apple of Eden. <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the Apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. So, look, we need to, uh... Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. It has been quite some time since I played Assassin's Creed, so give me that. Like I said, it's been like five years ago since we started the challenge. I did part one, two, and Brotherhood, and I was like, you know what? I didn't really need to finish Ezio's story. What's happening? I, I can't move. I, I can't. No! Let's get back familiar to the world of Assassin's Creed, shall we? Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? What a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here! They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... Broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Uh-huh. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. 
original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there, hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. I'm so sorry. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. That is right, the ending of Brotherhood, we did kill Lucy. Did we, or did somebody else do it for us? We'll figure it's that Sean. out. Pronounce that word and use a uh, God bless him. Use off massive, use off Quebec. Could you just say Ubisoft at this point? Like, I get it, it's a Ubisoft game, Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now. Safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. God. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should 
anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Are still bad, assassin's good, you know. The orders are the templars are pretty weird to begin with. Alright, let's see how much I have to re remember this game. Get them, you fools! Kill that bastard! Uh look everywhere! Talk to bottom! I want him to Hey Altier, how you doing, buddy? Punch, punch, kick. What the hell are you standing around for? Make yourself useful. I see him. Hurry! And he is on him. Well, that. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Good. That actually worked as planned. Always had a very like, the Assassin's Creed series. Always had a really good like uh, climb mechanic. I always respect that. It's like nothing there to even clip it onto. Was the old, the first base in the game? Oh, no, reminds me of. Oh! That. Thinking. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Etsy, ever exists and make things. Easier. This is like, holy cow, what was this to do here? He 
dead. He also did. We're gonna get some free kills, might as well. Isn't there two people here? Yeah, one's a slave. Not a, uh... Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. For the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Huh. Do not fail a single tale. You know what? This is a good place to stop. Next time on Kingdom Come... God bless him. Assassin's Creed Revelations! We'll find a journal of some kind. I'll see you then.